today's video, I'm going to be showing you the craziest trophy winning tactics in Soccer Manager 2021. Let's get into it. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. It's Football Hypes here. And in today's video, I'm going to be showing you the craziest trophy winning tactics in Soccer Manager 2021. And I don't just mean winning one or two trophies over a period of two seasons. I mean winning a ton of trophies in under one season with any team in the game. But before we get into that, if you are new to the channel, go and subscribe and do not forget to turn that notification bell on to never miss one of my videos. And if you do end up enjoying this video, please go ahead and smash a like on this video. That would really help out a lot. But let's get straight into showing you what these tactics are all about. Alright, so you'll find that these are very defensive counter-attacking tactics. You'll also find that you'll keep a load of clean sheets using these tactics. And clean sheets are very important, especially for your player's morale. Another thing that I would like to mention is that these tactics are especially effective against bigger teams. I've also maintained a 84% win rate over two seasons using these tactics, and I don't think I would have achieved that if it wasn't for these tactics, to be honest. But um, I'll get into some of the results I've gotten this season a bit later, but for now I'm going to get into showing you how to set these tactics up. Now I went with a very simple, well-known formation, 4 for 2 it's not only very well known in football, it's also very well known in the game itself. Um, and uh, yeah, so 4 for 2 very simple, very simple formation. Uh, player roles, the keeper, you want to keep his role as a keeper. For the left back and right back, you want to set their roles as full backs. Um, for the two centre backs, you want to set both their roles as general defenders. Like I said, very simple roles um, with a very simple formation. Um, so very simple defensive unit. Uh, for the left and right midfielder, you want to set both their roles as wide midfielders. Uh, for the two central midfielders, you want to set their roles as ball-winning midfielders. Now, for the one striker, you want to set their role as a deep-lying forward and the other striker as a target man. Now, I would recommend setting the striker that has the best creativity as a deep-lying forward. It doesn't matter where you put them, left or right striker, it doesn't matter. Uh, and the target man, you want to set, obviously, that striker that has the best shooting ability. Um, so, like I said, very very simple formation, very simple roles. Um, and let's get on to some of the instructions. Now, for the instructions, uh, you want to obviously set it as the uh, you want to set the player roles as the highest rating in each role. Now, for general, uh, you want to keep the width normal, very balanced again. Uh, and obviously mentality very defensive. Like I said, these tactics are very defensive, counter-attacking tactics very effective against bigger teams and you also find that you'll, that you'll keep a lot of clean sheets using these tactics which is absolutely amazing because you, you tend to find a lot of tactics that uh, are pretty good but you don't keep a lot of clean sheets right um, tempo normal very balanced again creativity adventurous the reason why I've set it adventurous is because when your team counterattacks, you want a bit of creativity, right? Uh, for attack, you want to set the passing style mixed, attacking style mixed, forward, work ball into the box. So you want these two guys to work the ball into the box and you want the deep line forward to set up a goal for the target man, right? Now, the wide play, you want these two guys right here, the two wide midfielders, to play early crosses to these two right here. Now, for the defense, pressing all over, uh, this is this role right here, this, this uh, pressing all over is especially effective for the two midfielders uh, right here because um, you'll find that they are ball winning midfielders and they'll constantly uh, press uh, the uh, opposition, which is what you want. Uh, so pressing all over, tackling style hard. Um, you don't want to, I didn't really go down the aggressive road because uh, you know, when you when you set your tackling style to aggressive, you'll find that you're very prone to picking up red cards, which is not what you want. Uh, when your tackling style is hard, you'll find that you'll pick up a couple of yellow cards here and there, but you know, you want hard, firm tackles. You don't want sloppy, soft tackles. You want to be firm. It's a it's a very defensive, firm formation. So you want a you know a hard tackling style. 
Now the back line I kept balanced again normal. Uh, the reason why is because if you make your back line high, you'll find that your defense is very exposed. Uh, and if you put your back line low, you'll find that your defense is not involved in any counterattacks. So very balanced there again. And like I said, these are very defensive counterattacking tactics. You won't score a lot of goals with these tactics, but you'll win a lot of games and a lot of trophies using these tactics. And again, I'll mention it. This is these tactics are very very effective against bigger teams. Um, you can be like I said, you can you can use these tactics for any team. Um, it really doesn't matter, um, but it's it's effective against big big teams, and um, that's what you want. And also these tactics, you'll find that you'll keep a lot of clean sheets. Uh, I've mentioned a second time because it is true. But um, just to prove my point, I'm going to go ahead and show you some of the results I've gotten this season, just to back a couple of my points up. Alright, so I'm briefly going to show you some of the results I got this season. I'm not going to go into depth or anything because I really don't think it's necessary. But if we take a look at the top here, and you'll notice as I'm scrolling down how many clean sheets I've kept this season using these tactics. And not only the amount of clean sheets I've kept, but the amount of wins I've also gotten. I mean, it's just phenomenal. I think I went unbeaten this season. You'll notice that I got a couple of draws here and there. but. I went unbeaten this season using these tactics and I, I really don't think I would have achieved that if it wasn't for these tactics. And another thing that I'm also going to mention, and I'm going to mention it again, is that these tactics are super effective against bigger teams. Mark my words, they are super effective against bigger teams. If you take a look at the second last result here against Shanghai SIPG, this was the Asian Champions League final. Not only did we beat them 1-0, but we kept a clean sheet against them. I mean, it backs my point that these tactics are absolutely amazing. Now that I've showed you some of my results briefly, I'm going to move on to showing you my managerial win rate and some of the trophies I've achieved over the past two seasons. So like I said earlier, I did maintain a managerial win rate of 84% over the past two seasons. And that's not bad. That's really not bad. A managerial win rate of 84%. That's pretty decent. I got 52 wins. 8 draws and 2 losses, which equals to 52 out of 62 wins, which equals to a managerial win rate of 84%. And I really don't think I would have been able to achieve that if it wasn't for these tactics. But now I'm going to go ahead and show you some of the trophies I've won over the past two seasons. I've won five trophies in two seasons. You'll remember at the beginning of the video, I did say that you'll find that you're not only gonna win one or two trophies in two seasons, but you'll find that you're gonna win tons of trophies in two seasons. I mean, I've won five trophies in two seasons. Two FA Cups, two, uh, two sorry, two League Cups, two league titles and an Asian Champions League. I mean, it really does not get better than that. I mean, even the title of the video is trophy winning tactics because they are trophy winning tactics. But now I'm gonna go ahead and move on to my records. We're gonna start off by taking a look at my record loss. It is only 3-2. Um, not a bad result. We did score two goals. I mean, it wasn't 3-0 and um, these are very defensive tactics, so you'll find that you're not going to concede a lot of goals. A maximum of three goals you'll find that you'll concede, but nothing more. Which is a great thing, because you don't want to be conceding goals, right? It brings down your goal difference, uh, affects players' morale, and uh, you don't want that. So, I don't think this was such a bad result. Um, you'll find with a lot of tactics, your record loss could get up to 6-7-0. But with these tactics, you'll find that you're not going to... You're not going to concede a lot of goals and, and your record loss will not be so high, which is great, which is a great thing, right? Um, but now we're going to move on to my record win. And as you can see, it's not very high, right? It's only 4-0, another clean sheet. Like I said, these tactics are great. I mean, you'll keep tons of clean sheets using these tactics, but you'll find with these tactics, you will not score a lot of goals. Like I said, very defensive counter-attacking tactics. Um, you won't concede, sorry, you won't score a lot of goals, but you'll win a lot of games and you'll keep a lot of clean sheets and that's ultimately what you want, right? But if, if you're thinking that this is the video where, or these are, if you're thinking that these are the tactics where you're gonna score tons of goals, kill teams 10, 11, 0, these are definitely not the tactics for you. Um, if you're looking to win games and win trophies, these are definitely the tactics for you um, because we all wanna win, right? And um, yeah, 
and I seriously recommend going to try these tactics out because uh, you will see a, a big difference in, in your results and um, you'll find that you'll be winning a lot more trophies which is what you want and keeping clean sheets not to mention so um, I seriously recommend trying these uh, tactics out and let me know in the comment section below uh, if they worked for you because they definitely worked for me. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video and if you did, please go and smash your like on this video. That would really help out a lot. And if you are new to the channel, go and subscribe and do not forget to turn that notification bell on to never miss one of my videos. But thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next video.